Wood is a wonderful material to build a boat from, and of course it has been used for centuries. But what are some of the weaknesses inherent in traditional boat building? Well, the whole structure is designed to work and move and take up gradually, so inhibiting the water. But the fixing method is flawed because with mechanical fixings, whether they be metal or in days gone by, wood or leather, going back in history, but more commonly with modern boats, metal fixings, as the structure works through the fact that it goes to sea, but more importantly, as it works, as it takes up water, this places a, a high degree of stress on the metal fixings. That I've got some examples from a rubbish bin, really, of a traditional boat that's being restored uh, where I live. And you can see the enlarged nail holes here. Obviously, this structure will become loose, and of course it becomes looser and looser as the boat is used, and then it fails. A typical wooden boat restoration would almost certainly revolve around very, very traditional skills. So replacing original fixings, replacing frames that have been damaged or have rotted, of course is very, very important. But how do we improve on that structure? Well, we improve on that structure by creating inherent stiffness. And in the case of a carval construction, we might want to replace all the seams with splines that are glued in with epoxy. Once we've done all that to the structure, it will create inherent stiffness, but we want to maintain that inherent stiffness by coating the surface of our hull, for instance, and creating an almost 100% water resistant structure. We do that, of course, with a good quality epoxy resin system.